twine, which is Timmy, but they changed it to why am I becoming a bird? Uh... All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I, I've seen, I've read this one before. Let's read it. Yes, yeah, so the SCP. I, actually, I don't think they did 963. But anyways, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm talking about Professor Lucius. I don't think they did 963. But yeah. Anyways. SCP-1192, a.k.a. Timmy. Item SCP-1192. Object Class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-1192 is contained in a dedicated aviary and is to be provided a diet of fruit supplemented with protein and vitamin additives, as it refuses to consume seeds and insects that are a part of a normal diet for its species. 1192 is to be provided with several pencils and pages of paper to allow it to communicate. In the case that 1192 becomes belligerent, mild sedatives may be introduced into its food and water supply under closed veterinary supervision. Oh, no, the why am I becoming a bird? Is you fuck off, bookworm. Anyway, <laughs> description SCP 1192 is a juvenile male gang gang cockatoo, a species normally act native to southeast Australia, approximately. 35.5 centimeters in length. 1192 appears to be sapient and exhibits intelligence and common knowledge consistent with that of a human child between the ages of 6 and 8. 1192 is unusually disheveled as it appears to be unable, unable or unwilling to preen itself and has difficulty flying despite being essentially healthy and uninjured. Close examinations have shown a slight keeled over contusion on the back of 1192's head, but no internal injury or damage was, was ever found. 1192 was discovered and brought into containment by Agent Redacted on Redacted, who at the time was embedded as an undercover agent in the Newark Police Department in New Jersey. It is believed at this time that 1192 began following Agent Redacted and trying to attract his attention because of the perception of an authority figure in police uniform. Agent Redacted became suspicious due to 1192's unusual species and erratic behavior and sent a request for assistance. A Foundation containment team, containment team was dispatched and was able to detain 1192 and bring it to site Redacted for examination. Addendum 1192-01 Experiment Log 1192-01 Shortly after initial containment, experimentation was performed in which 1192 was introduced to a multitude of objects in a controlled environment in order to deduce its abilities. Upon being introduced to the, the same chamber, 1192 immediately gravitated to a pencil and paper and began to attempt to write crude sentences. At this point, Dr. Redacted was brought in to attempt to communicate with 1192. Eleven ninety two writes, "Who are you, Doctor Redacted? I am Doctor Redacted. I am here to speak with you. Who are you?" Eleven ninety two writes, "Tempt me," followed by, "Where am I?" You're not a medical center to me. A hospital. You know what happened to you. Eleven ninety two writes, "No." Then. I want to go home. What do you love to me? After several minutes and with some difficulty, 1192 managed to write down an address for a residential home in Redacted, Montana. Undercover agents sent to the specified residence determined that, that the location is inhabited by Mr. and Mrs. Redacted, as well as their son, Timothy Redacted, age 7. Agents decided to monitor the family have noted nothing out of the ordinary with this family thus far. Addendum 1192-02 Research Note As 1192 is unable to manipulate objects with enough coordination to play with, the 
the video games it requested and shows little interest in the, in the other toys we have offered it. It has taken a scribbling, making crude drawings with the materials we have provided. Other notable materials are as follows. Several pages of unrelated words presumed to be writing practice. Several pages of crude drawings including race cars, airplanes, and fictional animals and monsters. A single page with the words, why, why am I a bird? As well as several more indecipherable sentences. A drawn of what appears to be a small child holding the hands of two adults. The child is scratched out and the paper is ripped. The first sentence of the page has the words, I want my mom. A single page with 126 instances of the word mom and 76 instances of the word home. Doctor redacted senior researcher, a uh, senior observer. observer. Yeah, this one's a, a sad one. Yeah, you don't really know what's going on. You, you can't really know if, if the bird is what happened because the, the kid exists, but yeah. the bird has the memories of the kid. You don't really know why. You're not so, gonna like the thumbnail. Hmm? You're not gonna like the thumbnail. Well, I kind of figured that because I've seen uh, someone actually. Oh. <laughs> or. Yep. I've watched someone review this this episode. I know I won't like it. They actually included the, the license and everything, so that's good. But they wrote down the wrong nickname. Alright, and three. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright. I, I love Bookworm's message. Oh, gee, what the fuck? <laughs> three, two, one. Did you see that? That ain't normal. Call it in. The other officer went for his radio. They knew this was something else. No one's head was supposed to glow like that, kid or not. The boy clung to the banister as he watched them. Just calm down, son. You have an injury. We're gonna get you some help. He watched them blankly. His parents stood in the distance, unsure what to do. Someone call for backup? Who the hell are you? We didn't request uh, SWATs, or whatever unit you're from, and just how did you get here so fast? We were monitoring the initial call. We were already en route when you radioed for backup. We'll take it from here. Please, go wait outside by the van. We've got some- Why is the woman barely even dressed? When have they not done that with women? <laughs> Sedatives, to calm your nerves. The policemen walked outside, a look of confusion on their faces. Are you sure? Don't worry, we're used to dealing with these situations. Hey, Timothy, you want to come down here? He just stared back. Family, but sure, a normal family living in a man where one is dressed like one parent is dressed like a rock star and the other dressed like not like a mom. Yeah wide-eyed, seemingly unable to understand what Chen was telling him. He pulled out a tranquilizer gun. Do you know what this is? We don't need to use this. If you'll just hop down and come with me. His face was blank. It didn't seem like he could understand him. Chen raised the gun. No, he's just confused. Oh my God. Don't worry, this won't hurt him. I promise. As Chen fired the gun, a bird came flying down the stairs. As it went past Chen's head and out the door, he caught sight of something on the back of its head. Anything turning up? Floss was looking at the MRI scans displayed on the overhead screens. Not really. It's looking pretty normal. How about that bump on the back of his noggin? There is a contusion there, but it seems to be healing and we're not seeing any signs of long-term damage or anything anomalous. Odd. 
The cops said they saw it glowing before I had them amnesticized. Well, for the moment, I'm not seeing anything. Kloss hit the receiver. Thanks, Timothy. That'll be all for now. Agent, can you please take him back to his room? <sighs> Coffee? You buying? Don't I always? Lead the way, Doc. Chen stirred his coffee. Oh my god. Deep in thought. What is it? Hmm? Oh, something's just been bothering me. Spill it. The bird. I didn't see the boy's bruise doing anything weird, but I swear there's something strange about that bird. A hunch. More like a gut feeling. Run with it. Let's find that bird. Yeah, but how? Check the surrounding areas. A bird like that? Sounds pretty rare. Is this hat absolutely necessary? We're looking for a bird. It's imperative that we blend in. But we're not bird watchers. This is a public park. <laughs> I know. I just haven't had a chance to try out the new hats. I've really got to get you out oh my more. God. They surveyed the park, but so far, they hadn't been able to spot the yes. bird. There, in the trees. You sure? Of course I'm not sure, but it looks the same. Good enough. Let's go get it. They walked cautiously towards where the bird was sitting. Good birdie. Nice birdie. Uncle Klaus just wants to talk to you for a bit. Uncle Klaus? Really? Yeah. Chen needs to take his boyfriend out on more dates. This black. I agree with Bookworm. Ken needs to take his boyfriend out more so he won't be a complete fucking idiot on missions. I wouldn't get it, Chen. It's psychology. To capture the bird, you have to understand the bird. Be what? the bird. Get inside its head. Only I... then can you know how to actually catch the bird. Oh my god, Buck. Oh, yes, Sensei. Be one with the bird. Oh. <laughs> While you're doing that, I just became one with the tranquilizer dart. Crude, but effective. Wrap him up. Can I you hate say that maybe Klaus? Klaus. Klaus. I really need to get you out more. Just engaging with the subject. Right. Did you find anything? Have a look at this. That looks almost identical to the bruise on the back of the boy's head. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of link here. I'm gonna continue testing the bird, but we'll release the boy to his parents now. You sure about that? Yeah, we'll keep him under tight surveillance, but he seems to be acting normally now. The bruise on his head might have been the cause of the strange behavior. A little rest oh God, and but... it might resolve itself, but keep a close eye on things. Roger that. Timmy seems to be fine. Just a knock to the head. We'll check in again soon. Take care for now. Chen walked away from the house. First shift, you're on. Radio in if you see anything odd. Chen got onto the bike. He rolled up to the Foundation car park. As he dismounted from the bike, an agent came towards him. Agent Chen, uh, Dr. Klaus is waiting for you in Holden Cell C4. Good boy! How about a sunflower seed? Is that what I rushed over here for? Come here, come here! Look at this! Kloss pushed some wooden toys towards the bird. It kicked them away. Wow! That's amazing! Not that! Watch this! He gave the bird a video game controller. It immediately started to manipulate the buttons. Look closely! It's not just random. It seems to know how to use a controller. So, it watched the kid playing and <laughs> copied him? I don't think so. I've tried this a few times and there isn't a repetitive pattern. It's like he's trying to get it to work. Have you tried anything else? Slowly working my way down the list of objects. The hours passed by as Klaus and Chen offered the bird different objects. They hadn't managed to deduce much, besides that it seemed to like typical objects a child would. This is getting nowhere. Patience, Chen. Patience. Yeah, yeah. What else is on the list? As he passed the clipboard and pencil to Chen, it slipped and fell to the table. The bird immediately moved towards the pencil, picking it up with his beak and feet. 
What's it doing? It looks like it, it's riding something. The bird moved back and forth, <laughs> manipulating the pencil as well as it could. Yeah. When it was done, it stepped back. Scrawled on the paper were the words, Who are you? Chen looked at Klaus in astonishment. Can birds do that? I don't think so. My name is Klaus, and this is Chen. What's your name? The bird went back to the paper and started scribbling again. Timmy, where am I? I won my mom. Klaus shot a look at Chen. Um, you're in a hospital. Can, can you just wait here for a moment? We'll be right back. Klaus pulled Chen out of the room. What is it? The bird. It said its name was Timmy. What of it? The boy from the house. His name is Timothy. Coincidence? I don't think so. So what does it mean? I'm not sure. Let's take the bird back to the family and see if anything clicks. What? They sat in the van across the road from the house. Inside, know. they could see Timothy and his parents in the living room. The bird became immediately agitated. Let him out. It went for the pencil and paper and began to draw something. It was a picture of a young boy holding his parents' hands. Beneath the picture were the words, Why am I a bird? I'm sorry. I don't know what's happened exactly. It went back to the pencil, writing the words mom and home repeatedly. Timmy flew to the car window and looked out at his home, his parents and himself. He didn't understand what was happening, but all he wanted in the world was to be in there, to be in that house with his parents, to be Timothy once again. God. Somewhere deep inside, Timmy knew that would never happen again. Even if he could somehow become human again, these people, this foundation, they wouldn't allow something like him to be free. He gently raised a foot and drew something onto the fogged up glass, then flew back inside his cage and closed the door. SCP-1192 is a juvenile male Gangyang cockatoo a species normally native to Southeast Australia, approximately 33.5 centimeters in length. 1192 appears to be sapient and exhibits intelligence and common knowledge consistent with that of a human child between the ages of six and eight. 1192 is unusually disheveled as it appears to be unable or unwilling to preen itself and has difficulty flying despite being essentially healthy and uninjured. Even though they had Close it flying the video. have shown a slight, healed over contusion on the back of 1192's yeah. head, but no internal injury or damage was ever found. 1192 is contained in a dedicated aviary and is to be provided a diet of fruit supplemented with yeah. protein and vitamin additives as it refuses to consume seeds and insects that are a part of a normal diet for That's its species. That's true, but... 1192 is to be provided with several pencils and pages of paper to allow it to communicate. In the case that SCP-1192 becomes belligerent, mild sedatives may be introduced into its food and water supply under close veterinary supervision. The animals we live with in our homes aren't just pets. They're our family, and we are theirs. Never forget that, because one day, they won't be there anymore. I dedicate this video to my African grey parrot. But Rest in peace. Oh. Um, he dedicated this video to his dead parent. Oh, what? Yeah. He he said he dedicates this video to his dead parent. Did you say What was that? Uh, I'll be right you are back. right, oh. bookworm. The huh? family is normal. Yeah, the family is normal. You okay, buddy? Yeah, I just... I was surprised the fact they dedicated the video to his dead parent. Is all. Yeah, but it's kind of weird. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry for your dead parent, but we're probably still not going to give you a good score. Probably good. 
going to be a zero. Yeah, all right. Removal of characters and like in license, they've removed the name. They destroyed the name, so the license they kind of peed on. They the also... Agent and the doctor. The agent, the doctor, they also mixed the bird and child. Yep. Four. Added gore or violence. Four. Why'd they shoot the bird? Why'd they shoot the child? <laughs> okay. Oh, and that's fair. I always said share concepts just because the bird Timmy has the memories and ability of Timmy, which is kind of close to sharing consciousness. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. Deviation for the plot of the article. Four. Yeah, it did change it, a it, lot. It, it made its own weird plot where Timmy and the bird switched places, even though that's not what happened. We don't know what happened. Right. We don't know what happened! Yeah. And only men in the video slash offensiveness. Oh, they added a weird amount of sexism. Never. Yeah. Why can't they just show a woman being... He said four, alright. So, yeah, but again. Unless you think it should be lower? I don't, I don't know. What do you think, Bookworm? Should it stay with four or lower? For offensiveness. They didn't need to have boobs in the video. Not at any point. But they basically made the mom a walking boob. <laughs> Walking boob. You saw her dress? Yeah, we got That's the type of dress where it's basically poking out. Three or four sounds about right. I'm okay with four. Alright, so zero percent. <laughs>